you're doing great. You've already completed two lessons, and now it's time to move on to lesson number three, using forms with your website. Using forms is a great way to capture leads and convert those leads into more customers using what's called a sales funnel. And in this lesson, I'll walk you through what you need to know to set that up on your website. So let's jump in and take a look. In this lesson, I'm going to show you how to add forms to your page, how you can edit those existing forms, and then how you can customize the appearance of a form, and then most importantly, how you can create a powerful sales funnel by harnessing the data that you collect through the forms on your Web Starts website. Let's get started. I'm on the dashboard view. I hover over the thumbnail to my site and click Edit Site to load the page editor. If you remember from our previous lesson, you can select elements and then use the smart handles to drag them down the page. So I'm just going to do that to create a little bit of space where I can add a new form to my page. Once you're ready to add the form to your page, click Add and then choose Contact Form. Now forms are made up of fields, so you'll want to choose the fields that best apply to the data that you're trying to collect on your website. For this demo, I'm just going to choose name, email, and phone number, but do know that there are a lot of advanced fields like paragraph text, multiple choice, drop down, and a lot more. You can take a look at those on your own. If you want to delete a field from a form, all you need to do is select that field and then click on the delete icon. You can customize the individual fields by selecting them and then changing the field name. For example, here I'm asking for full name. I'm just going to say first and last name. And you can customize things like the width and you can even require a field to be completed in order for the form to be submitted. When you're ready, click the form settings tab. Here is where you can specify the email address where the form data will be sent upon the form being submitted. You can also specify a confirmation page. That's a page where you want to send people after they've submitted the form. Check this box to use CAPTCHA and verify that your form submitters are human. Select a mailing list from the drop down menu and the data that you collect will automatically be populated in both the contacts app in Web Starts and the email marketing app as well. This is very helpful because you can then refer back to the contacts app and use that as a CRM or customer relationship manager, or use the email marketing system to follow up with those people through scheduled follow-ups or broadcast emails. Click on insert form and your form is inserted onto the page. Just like other elements in web starts, you can drag and drop your form wherever you'd like it to appear. To customize the appearance of the form, click on the style brush and choose from one of the predefined skins. If you'd like to customize the styles even further, you can do that by clicking the customize style link. Here you can see that the custom styles are grayed out and that's because I'm in a free account. Once you're in a paid account, you'll have access to all the advanced styling features. Now that we've added a form to our website, you may want to edit it. To do that, click on the form to select it, then click edit form. This will allow you to change the form fields that belong to this particular form. Notice that you can also change the button. So if I want to change the button text from submit to continue, I can do that as well. And I can even add a button to reset that form. When you're ready to update your form, just click update form. You can use Web Starts forms to power your sales funnels just in the way that we previously described. Select your form, click edit form, and then specify the list that you want to drop your subscribers into. For this example, I'm choosing the contacts list. That means it's going to automatically populate the contacts app with the data that it collects on this form. You can specify a custom form field as well in this scenario. So for example, if I wanted to gather somebody's favorite color, I could just add a field called favorite color and click update form and you can see that fields added to the form if I want to save the corresponding data what I would do is save the changes that I made to my page just like so return to the dashboard scroll down to the contacts app and then what I'm going to do is I'm going to create a custom field called a favorite color and that's going to allow me to gather that data. So I click on add contact and then I create, I go add field, I choose favorite color, which I've already created earlier and click submit. So now I'm gathering the favorite color data from my form. And now when I 
have somebody submit that data and they put in their favorite color. There you can see that it's going to be reflected into the data that I gather. If you're using the email marketing app, you'll have to subscribe to a plan, but once you do, you'll be able to send regular follow-up and broadcast emails to that data that you collected in the form as well, which is a great way to increase your conversion rates. To review, in this video, we learned that you can add a new form to your web page by clicking Add from the right sidebar and choosing Contact Form. That forms are made up of fields and that you can customize each field and that you can set some form settings to really get the most out of your forms. We've also learned that you can customize the appearance of your form by selecting it and then choosing the customized style options. That concludes this lesson on using forms with your WebStarts website. Three lessons down, you're making great progress. So let's go ahead and jump into lesson number four, how to add a domain name to your website.